So you may have noticed that, um, just making sure it's level. You may have noticed that, first of all, I do this every time. Uh, not this, but like I do like, you know, the, like I'm doing an apology video and pretending to like this is all authentic. It's not an apology video, obviously. Um, but I just do that because I don't want to edit that part out, which is kind of stupid. I don't think anyone's unsubscribed to me because I do that. Um, anyways, you may have noticed that on the title is reading recommendations with a question mark at the end. That's because, that's because half of these library books that I got, I didn't even, like, finish, or I didn't even, like, starting with this one, and I finally finished it, this, this Avengers one. Had it not been for the Roger Stern is the Loki Unleashed book that I got way back when, I think it was, like, last year, it's been a long time, it was, it was when that Loki series was coming out, uh, in fact, I thought I had to get the Loki, ser Loki series, um, I think it was a companion. It's not. It's a sequel to this. To the... The, what, the events after 3... Uh, sorry, 277. Had it not been for that issue, I would not have finished this book. This book is just... I don't know. It, it, first of all, it makes me not want to read my Fantastic Four huge-ass... Both of them. Just two of them. Omnibuses. Which is a insanely... Insanely... Um huge insult to John Byrne's incredible run. I've not, I've, I've, I've started the first one, I, I like it, but it made me not want to go back to that because of this. The pacing in this book is awful. I started, it starts out good, you know, some of them started out good, and I was like, okay, maybe, maybe it'll be better than last time. And then it just gets slow, and there's so many word bubbles. People just not shut up in this book. If, in like, what was funny is I was reading the um, what's the name? Who writes it? Um, the Iron, the new Iron Man, Christopher Christopher Cantwell's Iron Man. That wasn't good either. It was kind of okay. And the second one I've heard is even worse. So it's not a series. I'm gonna keep reading. Um, but that like, as much as I didn't like that one, it wasn't word bubbles every single fucking panel. Some of them they let they let the comic breathe. And what I mean by that is that there was no word balloons, you got to see the scenery. You know, in this book, it's just like, let's have every single character talk at once. Not at once, but, you know, every single character on the panel talk, or, you know, at, no, at, le at least one. At least one word balloon per page. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe four. And that's what makes a comic, comics pacing so shitty, is that they, they just take forever. And sometimes it can be done well, you know, I, I'm not going to say that I, get, I can't. But most of the time, it just makes that comic, like a 20-page comic, feel like a 40-page comic. It made this feel like a long-ass book, and then those two annuals were awful to read. That first one, I, I almost, like, quit altogether. It was two annuals back-to-back. -back. And the first one, I almost quit. And I, it wasn't the first time, I don't think. But it was, it was, I think it was the first time I was actually serious about dropping this title. Suffice to say, I will not be in the next volume. But, it's a 4.1 on Goodreads for a reason. Um, if you like this era of Avengers, and you don't mind the pacing, then you'll probably like this. Hell, you would probably already have this epic collection. But for me, I'm glad I got out of the library. And I'm glad I finished this so I can read that last one, and then get on to the uh, Infinity, which is just going to be a better Avengers book. Next one up is Batman. This was alright. I agree with the one person on Goodreads that, like, there's, like, monologues and shit, like, uh, word boxes, you know, monologues and shit. Uh, I agree with that one person on Goodreads that was, like, that one college kid who, like, writes that poem that's so serious, and he thinks he's gonna, like, win Oscar or something, like the Oscar of poetry for writing that, and he thinks it's so, like, it's, like, the best things they've written, and it's just, like, melodramatic. It's not totally like that. I kind of agree with him, I kind of don't. Um, but I heard the next, I heard, I think the next one is completely different from this. It's not like a monologue, about, like, suicide and shit. It's called I Am Suicide for a reason. That's, that's the topic of, uh, it's one of the themes in a book. Next one, I, I enjoyed a lot, but a lot more than I thought I would. This was a reread, and that's Batman and Robin, uh, Batman Reborn. This is after the Batman and Son, which I've not read read yet. But you don't have to. You, all you have to know is that Damien is now 
in the uh, series. And it's after Batman R.A.P. too. Spoilers, Batman dies in the book. Kind of weird. This one I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, read. I'm just going to return this to the other library. Hopefully they won't, they won't see me. And be like, hey, you're going to the wrong library. Because they don't want to. Mm. Next one was Ms. Marvel. This was okay. Uh, I forgot to mention in the fifth one. They, it opens, I, I think I did. I don't know if I did, but I'm gonna mention it again anyways. It opens with her becoming an, uh, becoming an Avenger. She's like she's already an Avenger, not becoming, because she already is an Avenger. And she's like, oh, I'm a freaking Avenger. And it's like, when did this happen? When was this established? You can't just do that just because, oh, it's like you're supposed to feel like everything's changed and this is the new world. Yeah, you have to explain something big like that. It's like if Spider Man joined the Avengers, and, like, issue 50 was him, like, was normal, and then issue 51. Actually, he's... And, and, and I mean the old Spider-Man. But I think he joined at that point. No, he, had, he hadn't joined. He he tried to join, but they didn't let him. But it's like issue 50 after that. Amazing. Incredible. You guys gotta read that. I, I highly recommend you read that. That Spider-Man No More story. After that issue, he's in the Avengers, or he's part of the X-Men. That's what this, this is like. But I, I liked it, and I still liked it. Uh, this, this, that, that, that was the last one that started with her adventures. This one was pretty good, actually, I gotta say. Um, what, what, made, what made this book for me, and that I, I, gotta, I gotta admit, there's an upside to this one, too. These both have stakes in them. Not literal stakes, but, like, the, uh, the villain in this one is pretty powerful. There's a bunch of villains, the Masters of Evil. They're pretty powerful. I, I gotta give that book this, is that I didn't, I couldn't see how it would end. I, I, I knew that I knew they'd win, because spoilers, there's gonna be more adventurous books after this. Um, but I didn't know how, you know, it was kind of like, wow, this is what's gonna happen. How are they gonna get out of this one, you know? And that's, that's the best part about those Stan Lee books, is that you also think that too. Uh, but this one, it's more like, it's not just a villain. It's more, like society and i don't mean to be all joker about this but like society is the villain in this book in that she did because it's, it's civil war too and there's this new like registration act i'm gonna call it that where it's predictive what do they call it predictive crime basically i, I forget what exactly they call it but it's like my and if you've ever seen the movie minority report how they um and i actually referenced the movie in this book how they arrest criminals before they committed the crime. And here, it's done more realistically. I don't know if it's done realistically in a movie at all. I haven't seen a movie yet. Um, but it's done super super realistically here because there's some people that just... They were going to commit the crime and they weren't sure if they're going to commit it. You know, they're going to go through with it and they arrest this person. Spoilers, by the way. And it ends... It actually ends up super surprised the way it ended. Big spoilers. With Bruno, Ms. Marvel's friend, and... I think and Bruno has a crush on Miss Marvel. I think they dated. Yeah, because he was, that's right, he was when I had a girlfriend in episode and episode in volume five. And that was another uh, instance of everything's changed. Holy shit. And that one is actually done right because it's not a huge thing like her joining the Avengers and unrealistic, I gotta add. I might add. It's just like something small. It doesn't really affect the huge, the, you know, the bigger story. I mean, yeah, they, her and Bruno were going to date after Book 4. Book 4 ends with Secret... Uh, as a prelude to Secret Wars, the 2015 series by... Uh, not series, the 2015 event by Jonathan Hickman. Um, so that's why everything changes with Secret Wars. Spoilers again. This is all spoilers all, all the time. Um, where was I going with this? I had it. But yeah, they, they, oh, so, um, Bruno, like, he, like, he leaves. He's like, screw you, Miss Marvel. Like, almost literally, like, has that mentality, because Ms. Marvel te technically led to him getting injured, like, severely injured. Like, he's, like, he has to learn how to walk now, and basically, like, somewhat paralyzed, but he, like, he seems to know how to, he seems to get back on track, because when Ms. Marvel spots him at the airport, when she leaves, she leaves, too, um, he, um, he seems, I, don't, I don't remember him in a wheelchair, right? I, I, just, like, I feel like that's something I would have remembered. But yeah, he leaves. He's just like, screw you, Ms. Marvel. Uh, you you made me this way, basically, which is kind of untrue. And it's like, damn. Like, I know in Volume 7, it's most likely all going to turn back to normal. But it's going to be an interesting to see how it, how that happens. 
yeah, I, I still like this series, but not as much as the first series, and I'm beginning to see why other people do not like this series. And I'm glad they have all these at the Indra Loan Libraries. Because I think... seventeen ninety nine. Are you serious? For seven... For six issues. I'm glad. And this is going to be a... Uh, um... Basically, I'm trying to say, like, oh, it's coming soon, uh, uh, Newberry Comics is having their buy one, get one 50% off. And I am going to take full advantage, advantage of that. See, all my money that I have right now and the 40 I'm going to get and just spend. No, I didn't say spend, spend, spend. Because I don't know, what exactly, I don't know what exactly what exactly I'm going to get. Or how it's going to turn out, whatever. They seem to have less and less graphic novels. I don't know why. I know why, but... No, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why they don't put more on there. They should just take out some of the, the shit that no one's going to buy and replace it with good stuff or just add an extra shelf. And get rid of some of the pop figure. I don't want to do that. Um, Yasel. This was this is one of those books that could have been a book. There's no reason it needs to be a graphic novel. I get that he's an artist, but, I mean, the art... Is it's supposed to be this bad because he's it's explained that he's not a good writer. A good writer. he's a better writer than a, than an artist, I guess is what the whole thing is. I didn't finish this one. I felt I felt it to, to be really boring, and I really hope Mouse is a lot more interesting than this. I already know it is because I thoroughly enjoyed when I was reading it way back in high school. And that was when I had not the best attention span. It wasn't as bad as when I was a little kid. Like, oh my god, I had the worst attention span as a kid. But it was still, I, I feel like when I was in high school, at least, my attention span was worse than it is now. Like, not, but, but not by much. This was, a, this was another one I didn't finish. It was just kind of weird. Not the good kind of weird. It was kind of like Squirrel Girl weird, but b borderline Squirrel Girl weird. Squirrel Girl is never going to be a series I read again. But that, then, neither is this. But maybe I'll come back to this one. I don't know. It was just like, I, I know it's supposed to be weird. I get it. But it was like, it was just stupid. You know, it was lame. This one, I really was loving. For the first, let's see, it's 15, 25. The first few weren't. I would say after issue 17 to issue... Five of the Iron Fist series. Here, I'll show you what I mean by that. It was really good. And then after that, it kind of fell apart, and I didn't even finish it. I haven't bothered finishing it. And again, I told you guys, I think I told you guys last time that I had started this on my on the way to work. I did. And it's like about like 20 minutes. It took me both to and from work to finish this. Basically, almost 40 minutes to finish one 18-page book. At that point, I'm like, no, I'm done with this shit. Done forever. I'm going to get the Ed Brubaker run because it's more modern and not as stupid as this. And what sucks is that that's Chris Claremont and John Byrne who brought you X-Men. That incredible, legendary, hands-down, one of the best, if not the best, X-Men runs in all of all time. And they bring us Iron Fist. The artwork is what the artwork artwork is good, but that was another one that didn't that didn't maybe want to read like Daredevil, because I wanted to read Daredevil when I was reading the good issues. And finally, Walking Dead. It's as good as ever. I have one more, and then I'm gonna have to enter loan library it or get it or buy it myself, like I did with the first two. Actually, no, that's right. The second one, the first one, was free on Prime. I, I highly recommend you guys start the series. It's a little bit slower now, like, there's more issues where nothing happens, and I'm like, God, I gotta do one more of this. Great. Voice cracked. But then you get, like, a damn good issue in the, the shocking ending that I will not even, I will not spoil. That's, that's how shocking of an ending it is. It's like the other one is I will not spoil it for you guys. That's about it. So let's count up the ones I didn't finish. I think it's an all-time world record. Four. And also, I have two left. Uh, it's Monstrous and Sandman. And both those I might drop, too. Sandman, I don't, I don't know why I don't like Sandman anymore. I don't. I don't know if it's just why I think the Fables one I didn't like. 
I, I like the more modern stories in Sandman, like, where it's following, like, you know, it's like, I'm not saying modern, it has to be, like, because it took, it's, uh, 80s, 90s when it came out, so I'm not saying it has to take place in the 80s or 90s, I'm just saying, I don't want to go back to that, was fa that fable stuff in 1428, and it was just, I don't know, I didn't like it, I hope the next one is good, I had to read one of those, it's nine issues and one trade paperback, that's 20 bucks! For Marvel, it would be twenty four ninety nine easily, maybe even a little bit more expensive. Need I remind you that there is a forty dollar book of its Empire, and not even three hundred pages. Nice job, Marvel. You really know how to price your books. That's why I would love to get them for free. Um, let them send them sending them because Marvel Marvel books. A lot of the ones, a lot of the trades, like, because it's past stuff, it's really good. If you find the best, if, if you know what you're looking for, you can find thousands, millions of Marvel trades to keep you occupied. If, if you're, and that's just Marvel, DC too. That's why I want them to give me reviewer copies, because it's, it's just the price. It's the only reason why I don't buy some Marvel trades, is because it's a bit too expensive for my taste. Some of them are really good. A lot of them are really good. I would say... 90% of the trades that Marvel releases are at least passable. Because I guess some of the, the newer ones they've been doing is like their recent, seri re recent series. But then some of them are like ones in the past, like the Eternals one and um, others. The Axe of Vengeance one. And I, I had that Axe of Vengeance Avengers one. I hope it's better than that. Roger Stern one, which I I think it's gonna I'm pretty sure it will be because I liked the one I was reading so far because I that's what I did there it was way, it was way back when about a year ago I'd say at, at the very least um and I like that one I hope it's like the other Avengers one that's about it um it's all time high for my one the ones I don't recommend I think the one I the highest recommendation I have to give to a book. Is probably Walking Dead, and besides that, and not, and, uh, and, uh, and then Batman, and Batman and Robin, and then Batman the Rebirth, Batman this one, and Ms. Marvel, and yeah, it was a pretty shitty haul. And what, I, what really pisses me off is I have I don't, I don't see my uh, interloan library. Books coming because when they come in, they like, when, they, when the interloan library books come in, they're automatically checked out of your account. And I did the math, it should be in today from last Tuesday. I don't know if I just didn't from Ms. Marvel because that was the most recent interloan library one. I don't know if I don't know that I don't know if from Ms. Marvel to let's say Civil War 2 or whatever, it was a huge gap. I don't know. I think the next one that should come in is either that or the Superman one, which I've been dying to read. That's about it, though. I know I, I never just said that, but I had to get my, my last few words in. But this is actually it.